Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel and welcome to my spring and Easter haul for 2024. I believe last year I did split up the haul, but since Easter is on March 31st this year, I'm just going to do them both together because I'm probably going to be decorating together for Easter and spring. And then after Easter is over, I'll probably do another spring decorate with me and just kind of refresh my decor, maybe rearrange some things. So yeah, I hope you guys are excited. I'm going to do it. I did a poll on Instagram and a lot of you said that you prefer like me to break it up by store, like what store I bought it at. That way I can do the time stamps rather than doing all the pillows and all the decor, all the kitchen items, etc. So I'm just going to do it like that. And then at the very end, I'm actually going to bring out my bin from previous years and just do a haul at the very end quickly, um, just letting people know where I got things. So that way I can refer back to my haul video for people who are curious about where I got things because I don't always reply to all of my comments. I am so so busy with school lately and it's just so hard to stay on top of everything so yeah let's get into this haul I'm really excited I hope you guys enjoy so first I'm gonna start with Michaels because I did only find one thing at Michaels this year I actually didn't shop at Michaels a whole lot for spring and Easter I haven't really been to like detail like get in detail and look around but I did order these stems online so I'm gonna show you really quick so I got these stems and I saw them on Pinterest and I ended up going to order them and I'm going to be honest with you guys, they're not my favorite stems ever. Like, I love the little flowers on them and I love the color. I don't know if you can tell. Online it says they're tan, but they're actually picking up like a pink color. I don't love the color of the leaves, like how it's like a darker green. I would prefer them to be a little bit brighter, but I think they'll work for what I'm planning. I think I'm going to use them in one of my Minka pots. Y'all know I love my Minka pots, so, um, but I think I have a bundle of 10 here, I do believe, but they were from Michaels and they were $6.99, and I think I got 20% off if I'm not mistaken, so I got 10 stems, $6.99, and then I got 20% off, so I think it came out to about $50 for this big bundle of these peony stems. So next I'm quickly going to do Amazon because I did only buy one, well two things I guess sort of from Amazon. So I got these two looks from Amazon. So that's why I was saying I got one thing but it was kind of two things because I got two different colors. So really it's one item of two different colors but they are so so pretty and I think it was only like $15 each bundle which is such a good deal and they are so so realistic. Let me see if I can set them down and show you up close. And they feel so good like they're soft and they just oh I love them my only complaint is they do they smell weird they smell like I don't even know how, how to explain it like like if you get like a new um, piece of something that's like rubbery new piece of rubbery something and it smells like that like when you open the package it's really strong but actually like I can't smell them unless I'm like right up on them so it's really not that big of a deal but I really love these I saw some tulips at Hobby Lobby and I ended up if you watch that video, I ended up giving them to another um, like customer that was there shopping at Hobby Lobby. And I got home and I was kind of like regretting it, but also like she wanted them so bad. So it's totally fine. But I went on Amazon and I found these and I'm super, super happy with them. Also, like they're really, really easy to bend. Um, I don't know if you can tell like how easy they are. So easy to bend and then easy to just bend back in the, you know, original shape. So I feel like these are going to be perfect to like maneuver and put in the little vases. And I also like that they're a little bit shorter. So if you're looking for some that for like shorter vases, you could always cut them, but I really like these. So next I have Hobby Lobby and I did only get one thing from Hobby Lobby this year for my spring decor. It was this, it was technically in the wall decor so I did get it 50% off but I'm going to use it as a tray so I was looking for one like this because I saw it at Ballard Designs and fell in love with it and I did not want to pay what they <laughs> the price that they were asking at Ballard Designs and this one is almost identical like literally and I got it for it's originally $41.99 so I got it for about $21 after that discount which I thought was a really good deal I can't wait to style it with some bunnies or some florals and my little Mika pot candle whatever I think it's gonna be so cute so the next one I have is Target I got a couple things at Target and then I'll be moving on to TJ Maxx and Home Goods, which is where the bulk of things came from but I'm so excited about my Target finds Look at these bunnies. Let me tell you what's funny about these. Like, I don't know if you can see up close. I have the flash on because I use my phone to film. 
and it's a little bit dark in my bedroom. I usually film at night because it just works out better where my kids are sleeping. They're not, you know, being loud in the background. But what's so funny about these bunnies is you would just have to know my cats, but they remind me of my cats. Like, this one reminds me of Stormy because she's, like, always laying in funny different ways. And this one's, like, laying down. And then this one just reminds me of Violet. I'm not really sure why. But this one has kind of got its little paws, like, up like this. And if you know, I have a cat named Ginger who she's medically needy is what I call her. But she's had two surgeries already. And she's probably going to have to have a third one because she has stomatitis. It's an autoimmune disease in her mouth. But she always does, me and my husband, this is silly, but we call it the rabbit thing because... She does this thing with her mouth because she gets like, you know, that autoimmune, like the, her body's like attacking her own teeth or something like that. But anyways, I mean, it's kind of sad, but also it's something she does. And it just reminds me of her doing the little bunny thing. And then this one, it just looks so fat and happy. And it reminds me of Stinky, which if you know, she's just my, she's my fat white cat and I just love her. But that's, <laughs> also it uh, reminds me of my nativity scene that I got from Target for around Christmas. That's like that glazed look to it, which y'all know I love. And I feel like these are just like, they're neutral. They'll go with anything. I feel like I can use these year after year. This was $15 in the Threshold brand at Target and I found it in stores, but I can also leave a link down below. So this next thing from Target, I'm so excited about. It is this, y'all are gonna notice a color scheme here. <laughs> this blue this like I'm obsessed with blue it's like my favorite color for home decor and I'm getting a lot more into like Serena and Lily vibes around my house and I was not intending to go crazy with the blue for spring decor specifically I usually like to decorate with pink for spring and then I'll do like orange for fall and like blue for summer and then you know red and green for Christmas but You'll see throughout the video, I just kept finding all of the perfect things that were this beautiful like baby blue color, like cornflower blue, I guess it is. But I'm just obsessed with this color and I, whenever I saw this bunny blanket, they also had a neutral one, so I will link both of them down below if I'm able to. But this one has like the little fringe detail on it and it has little like green bunnies. I just fell in love with it whenever I saw it because it goes so perfect with all my other spring decor. And again, I just... I've just been noticing that I've like seen all the perfect blue things for spring. So we'll see if I end up doing this like as well for like fall or Christmas. I do, I got some blue ornaments. I never ended up like showing them, showing them to you guys or using them in my decor, but I saw them um, around Christmas and fell in love with them. I think they're the Christian Siriano or maybe Martha Stewart, the glass ornaments. But whenever I saw them, I was like, I gotta have these. I know they don't match anything of mine, but I was like, I gotta have these. They're, they're just the perfect color blue and I love them. So we'll see how that goes. But this is definitely one of my favorite pieces of my spring decor this year. So next I have these lamps and I actually found these. I have admired this one and another one. Um, there's another one that's like the rattan base and it has like a white shade on it and I really really love that one as well. But honestly y'all, whenever I saw these like online or you know saw them in stores. I was like, there ain't no way I'm paying $65, $70 for a lamp. So when I saw these today at my store on clearance, they have a little like section. They have a little section for like online returns and that's where these came from. So they were like someone had, local had purchased them online and then returned them. So they were marked down to $45. So I was like, yeah, I want these for $45 definitely. They match the vibe that I'm really, really going for with the rattan. And then y'all know I love like the kind of rustic vase look. I have some lamps in my bedroom that are just so beautiful that also have kind of like that white vase look to them. But these were something that I had not intended on buying because again, I was like, I'm not paying $70 for a lamp, but $45? Yes, I will pay $45 for a lamp. But I think I'm gonna try to incorporate these in my everyday decor, but also I'm including them in my spring haul because they are a part of like my spring decor refresh and spring decor, like Easter decor. So next we have TJ Maxx and Home Goods. So I'm gonna start with the TJ Maxx stuff, but if y'all know that those are sister stores and you could probably find some of the items that I show from one at the other or even Marshalls. And I do think there's some other stores like HomeSense and 
um, Sierra. I've never, I've shopped at them online, but I've never shopped at either one of those stores in person. So I'm not sure like if it's the same kind of thing, but I know it is one of their sister stores. But again, this is TJ Maxx, but if you're looking at, uh, for this stuff, if you don't have a TJ Maxx local, but you do have a Home Goods or a Marshalls, then you may still be able to find it. So again, with that beautiful color blue, I also love this, like, what is this called? Is it like, it just, I always call it like linen texture, like the wrinkly kind of like gauze look to things. I love it. I think it's so pretty. And then just, I mean, the color, <laughs> these were just perfect. And I actually, this is so funny that I love Serena and Lily. I always have, but I got an ad for some wallpaper and it looked identical to this and I was like oh my gosh like I bought a dish towel set that looks exactly like that so I mean I guess I was you know going for that Serena and Lily vibe and I definitely got it with this dish towel but this is going to be my spring dish towels and then I have some that I bought recently that have more of like a a little bit of a darker blue pattern on them kind of like florally and those will be probably my summer dish towels but I'm literally in love with these um, these were $7.99 and it is a pack of two and they're so soft and I love them. Just obsessed with the color. It is like my favorite thing ever. It makes me want to just do my whole house in blue, like everything blue. Like I said, I did not like fully intend on buying like all blue. I, I usually do pink, but I'm like, I just kept finding all the perfect things in blue and I'm like, this just screams spring to me and I love it so much. The next thing I have from TJ Maxx is this gorgeous bowl. It's like a marble, um, like scalloped bowl and I love it. This was $19.99 and I think this is obviously like, um, like a year round piece because it, you know, it doesn't like it's not like only spring specific, which I really love. I've mentioned this um, in a previous video that I used to really decorate, like y'all know if you've been here for a while, I used to do like really overly themed stuff and um, that's what I used to love. And I've kind of outgrown that a little bit and it's really, I've noticed I spend a lot less money on um, like seasonal home decor. So I'm able to kind of buy things like this to just, you know, freshen up my everyday decor. But also it really does look like spring to me and also summer. It kind of reminds me of like a clamshell. <laughs> That's what I was thinking. But I know the scallop um, edges are really popular right now, but I also really love them. And they also go so well with like the Serena and Lily vibes. But I think I, there's just so many things I can do with this, but I was thinking it could go in my entryway table. And I have a book that I bought that I'll probably put with it that I'll show y'all a little bit later, but it could go entryway table or on a shelf or on my hutch. I did end up, if you've been on Instagram, you know, the the new like arched um, like hutch cabinet at Walmart. I did end up scoring the light honey colored one. I haven't set it up yet. I haven't decided exactly where I want to, it to go, but I know the reason I bought it is because I want it obviously like to style decor in this house, but I was thinking in our like future, like forever dream home, whatever that we build, I've always like admired those people who have like hutches in their bathroom and they put like towels and stuff on it. So I was like, I'm going to buy this. It's like $398. So cheap for that style cabinet. And I'm going to use it in the main area of my home and this home. But then whenever it's sort of like old news, <laughs> Like in a few years when we build a house or buy a house or whatever we plan on doing, um, like when it's old news or it's not, it's, I don't have the space for it in my bathroom here, like my master bathroom. There's no space big enough for it. But um, when it's kind of old news, then I'm going to use it in my bathroom in the future to put like towels and stuff on. But I thought at $398, it was the perfect thing. It was kind of like, you know, just buy it now and use it in my living room or my dining room or whatever and then I can use it in my bathroom in the future and I'm so excited about that but I'm also super excited to use it here to style because again like imagine this on that hutch cabinet with like a book under it and like some other decor that goes really well with it but I'm also excited to show y'all I did buy some like um some eggs which I thought would be so cute styled in this bowl as well. The next thing I have are these little bunnies. I love these. I do I will say I do wish they were brass. I do have a set of brass ones. They're different than these, but I do wish these were brass. I don't know if they came in brass, 
but I love them because I feel like they're, you know, like neutral. They'll just match with any style that I may have in the future. But the small one was $5.99 and the larger one was $9.99. But they do kind of have like a little bit of a rustic look to them. And they're just sculptural. And I just think they're so pretty. Can't go wrong with these. Style them on a shelf. Style them on the entryway table. There's so many uses for them. But, you know, right now I'm like super into gold and brass. So I would have preferred brass. But I do have a few home decor pieces that are black like I think last year and the year before that I was super into black so I have a lot of black stuff if you know I painted my island black uh last year or was that two years ago or last year I don't even know but I have black bar stools and you know those are like I was into in my like boho vintage kind of black phase so I do have a lot of like pieces that will match with these and I'm really excited about them but also feel like they'll just be perfect on a bookshelf so the next thing are these pillows and I originally I got these at TJ Maxx and they were $29.99 for a set of two and they're not choppable they're not the choppable kind and I'm not even sure if they have removable covers um, yes, they do. So they do have removable covers, but I do not intend on removing the covers. I'm just going to leave them as is because so my husband, um, he doesn't complain a lot or really at all about like my home decor, or my decorating or anything it, other than like sometimes like if I have like a bunch of like <laughs> like if it's um uh, almost valentine's day and i have a bunch of christmas decor just kind of lingering he does complain a little bit about that but um but the one thing he does complain about are whenever i switch the covers into like those feather filled pillows he complains so i'm gonna stop doing that and i'm just gonna leave them in these pillow like in these um the covers in the pillows they come with because he says that the feathers are uncomfortable to him and they poke him so i'm gonna stop doing that but you know like I said, he like rarely ever complains. So when he does, like I really try to like do, you know, whatever it takes to make him happy. So, um, but I really love these pillows. I think they're so beautiful. I originally bought these for my bedroom, which I probably will still use them in my bedroom, but for spring and maybe, well, probably year round, whenever I just like refresh the space, I could like, you know, just use them in the bedroom, use them in the living room. But I am gonna use these in my living room for spring this year because again, I didn't intend to go with all blues, but I did. So they will match perfect with all of my other spring decor as well. <laughs> so last store in my haul is Home Goods. If you know, like I have not had a Home Goods living here in South Georgia. We did have a bunch nearby when we lived in Orlando briefly. The closest one here is like in Tallahassee, Florida. So I think it's like I don't know, an hour and a half, maybe two hours away. I've never, well, I have been to that one, but I haven't been since we've lived here. So um, anyways, we just got one. So exciting. Uh, I wanted to film in there, but it has been so crowded every single time I've went that it's just not even worth filming because you guys won't even hear me talking. But if I could have filmed me shopping for this stuff, that would have been amazing because there were so many good finds. But I'm going to show you guys what I ended up getting. So first thing was this. Y'all know, like, I have a newly found obsession for these Rifle Paper Co. rugs. I bought two of them. Well, two of the same one. In a previous video, I got the, like, navy blue looking ones with the flowers. I just love these. And this is perfect for spring because it does have butterflies, flowers. It's that perfect blue color. But I also think it's just going to be a year-round rug for me. So this was $24.99. And I don't know if you can see like the whole thing. But it's a good size for like a kitchen rug or an entryway rug. I think I'm going to use it in maybe the kitchen or my entryway. I do have like a green Loloi one in there now. And it never really matched. I just kind of put it there to have a rug there. Because <laughs> it was originally supposed to be for my bathroom. So I might use the green one like move that one to my laundry room and then just have this blue one in the entryway. So we'll see what I end up doing with that, but I love it so much. So I'll go ahead and do these pillows. I bought a pack of pillows and then another pillow and I'm really excited to show y'all. So I'm gonna do those really quick. So me and Lewis were out at Home Goods. It was his first time ever going to Home Goods like ever, which is so surprising because I've been to Home Goods like a bajillion times, <laughs> like in the past, not since we've lived here, but um, I'm obsessed with these, literally. They're so pretty and these were $39.99 for the set and they feel so good and soft. And then my thing with these was that they're double sided. And let me see, I know some of you probably wanna know if they have removable covers. Sometimes I do get those comments. Yes, they do have removable covers. So if you're in search of these, 
but I love the colors and the patterns on both sides. So I want to use like these on my couch for spring or year round um, decor, but I'm going to use one on this pattern and then one on this pattern. So that way it looks like two separate, like different pillows. And I'm really excited about that. So here's the next one. I actually bought this. Oh, I had it upside down. Oh, it's kind of got a snag on it. <laughs> I thought it was a piece of hair, but it's like a little snag. Ooh. I don't want to pull it up. Anyways, um, I actually saw this when uh, me and Lewis went together and I ended up not getting it because it didn't match like perfectly. Like it wasn't, it's light blue, but it like, I don't know. It's not like perfect with those other pillows, but then I couldn't stop thinking about it. Like I went home and I was like, oh my gosh, I want that lumbar pillow. It reminds me of something that I would see at Serena and Lily. Uh, it was $24.99 and whenever I went back and they had they still had one. So I was like, yeah, I'm going to buy that <laughs> because I couldn't stop thinking about it. It was just one of those things. But I also think this is going to be perfect for spring and year round decor. So the next thing I have is probably my favorite finds of all. I bought all three sizes, not on the same day, but I bought these two. So I'll tell you the price and hold them up, but I just want to talk about it for a second. Um, they have these at Ballard Designs and I've literally had these on my Pinterest, like saving, you know, like my decor inspiration for 2024, you know, just like this has been like one of those things that I've wanted. Those are $200. The ones at Ballard Designs are $200. And I was like, they did go on sale for $169 and I really thought about it. I was like, oh my gosh, like $169, that's so expensive, but I want it so bad. It would make me so happy. And I was like, you know what? Home Goods opens in a couple of days. Let me just, or whatever, you know, couple couple of weeks, couple of days. Let me just see because they'll probably have something super similar. And when I tell you that this is like almost identical, um, so here, here's the small size. This was $24.99, I do believe. I think the small, yeah, $24.99. As you can see, like I'll even insert a picture of the one from Ballard Designs. And so I think the only difference is, is this is an oval and the one from Ballard Designs is a circle. But honestly, I would prefer the oval anyways. Um, so small. And then I also got the medium, which originally I thought this was the large one. I did not see the largest size, but this was $39.99. And you can see it's a really good size. I do still have the receipt. I may return one of them. I haven't played around with them yet. I'm not sure if I need all three of them, but I'm glad I bought all three of them when I did because they're all gone now. Like Home Goods opened, um, I think almost a week ago, and I went today. They're all gone. Actually, they've been gone. Whenever I went with Lewis, they were all gone. So I'm glad I bought them. <laughs> and here is the largest size, which y'all, this is huge. But I originally didn't see this one. Like it was, I guess, at the bottom. And I thought this was the same size as the $39 one. But this one was $49.99. And oh, so they had tons of them. When I tell you they had a whole end cap full of them, they probably had like I don't know, 10 or more of each size. They also had some square or like rectangle shape ones, but they're gone. They're all gone now, <laughs> but I got one of each size. And again, I'm just glad I went ahead and bought them instead of like trying to think about which size I wanted because I have the receipt and I could return them if I decide to. I may not return any of them because I may try to find a use for them for all three of them in my house, but I love them. And again, they just look just like the one from Ballard Designs that I wanted so bad. I'm trying to like, it's so large. I probably can't fit the whole thing. Maybe you can see the whole thing. I'm not sure how like wide the <laughs> camera view is. So getting into some Easter specific decor, I found some eggs that I had talked about earlier. So I ended up getting the this white one and then this gold one, but they like look like shells, like kind of, it says, I don't know how to pronounce that, but it says like something shell, capiz, I don't know. Uh, but they remind me of like, I don't know, like opal. They're just so pretty. And I was like, if I'm kind of leaning into this like Serena and Lily vibe, these would be perfect. And whenever I saw them, I love them. Even like, even if I wasn't going to do coastal vibes, then they would be perfect for just like gold or whatever. Because these are kind of neutral, so they really match with anything. I'm wondering how they feel. Like, I haven't pulled them out yet. I bet they're like really lightweight because they don't feel very heavy. Um, and they don't feel like breakable, which is good. But these were $12.99 each. And I did, because they had a few more, and each time that I've went since then, I've contemplated getting 
another set, but I was like, no, I think this is fine. I think this will do. So, you know, I was going to put maybe like probably the gold set in that little white, like marble scalloped bowl in my entryway, because I think that would be really cute with like the contrast of the white and gold. But yeah, I'm really excited to use these two. So I found this little guy and I'm obsessed because I actually had a big one in my cart that was like $14.99 and it had like a bowl like this one, but it wasn't a flower. It was just a plain like smooth round bowl and it was brass like this, but it was bigger and that was the one I originally had. And then I found this one and I was going to get both of them, but I ended up putting the other one back because I was like, I only need one of these. You know, I'm trying to get away from the like buying two of things that are like super similar or well, like I bought two lamps, but that's different because I may want to use them on the nightstands one day or something. So that's different, but like decor pieces like this, I'm trying to get away from buying things that are like too similar, but this was only $7.99. That's another reason I put the other one back because this one was a lot cheaper and it was only a little bit smaller. And I love the flower. I just think that's so cute. And the little bunny. I just love this. I think it's precious. Okay, so this is not really like spring or Easter specific, but I did buy it recently from Home Goods. It is what I'm assuming a fruit bowl. That's what I bought it to use it for. It was only $14.99 and um, it feels like it's made of wood. It says it's made in India. Um, wipe with damp cloth. Um, Anyways, it was with the kitchen stuff and I've been looking for a fruit bowl because my kids eat fruit like they're going out of business or they're going out of style, whatever people say. But um, it's nice to have something to put fruit in on the counter. I used to put it in my dough bowl on the island, but I haven't had the dough bowl on the island like in months. So it's been like, we just been keeping the fruit in the pantry. So um, I am going to put this on the counter and uh, I've actually already started putting fruit in it. And then I was like, I'm going to do a haul. So I'm going to include that little fruit bowl because it's again that like powder blue that I'm obsessed with. It's it's almost like it like it was wood and then they kind of like washed it with a powder blue stain is what it looks like to me. But I love it so much. I can't wait to just start using it, you know, like for year round use. So here's that book that I was talking about earlier that I was thinking that I was going to set that little bowl on. But this, I mean, this is perfect for year round, summer. It, it just matches the color scheme for spring. It's called Coastal Blues. I have seen other people decorate with this book and I'm glad I bought it when I did because they had a ton of them on opening day. I got there, they opened at 8 a.m. I got there at 8.20 and it was packed. It, I have never seen, like you had to just kind of like look as you walked because there was just so many people in the aisles. There was people everywhere. But um, there was a bunch of them. I would say probably like four or five. That's a bunch to me. But they were kind of like set up like on the little coastal aisle and um. I grabbed this one and then I went back the next day and they were all gone. So like all the other ones were gone. This was $19.99 and honestly like I haven't looked through it a whole lot yet but I did kind of skim through it. Oh obsessed. Obsessed. If you don't know like like I, if you're friends with me on Instagram you've already seen all the pictures and heard all you know that <laughs> like it is my dream. Well obviously my dream is to like live on the ocean but I, that is not in my tax bracket. So <laughs> the next best thing to me that maybe could be a possibility is like purchasing lakefront property and building like a lakefront, you know, like home. Um, that's a possibility because we do live near a bunch of lakes. Uh, and I've actually got like on my little Zillow, I've got some lakefront property saved that I would love to purchase <laughs> if it was our time to purchase. Um, but anyways, that is like, if you've, I don't know. I guess that's why I'm like so obsessed with like the coastal vibes and Serena and Lily and you know I used to love like the boho and it kind of like the rattan and stuff kind of reminds me of how I used to decorate and I'm just really excited about that but yeah. <laughs> oh so fun fact we actually did almost buy a lake house in like one of those lakes that's nearby but we ended up buying this house because it was this house is only three miles to the hospital that I worked at at the time and my husband works at now. So it was really convenient in town near everything. It was new construction. It was more of like that sort of farmhouse style that I wanted. The house by the lake, it was like a forever home. It was a little bit older. It needed some renovations, but it had the like picture perfect lake view and like privacy. It was it was dreamy and it was a four bedroom, two bathroom. And then uh, another thing we thought about, like our realtor said that 
she said, you can have, because when we walked through this house, I was like, oh, I was like, you know, my window in my kitchen, I was like, you know what would make this house better if there was a lake out there? And she said, you can have a house like this, you know, buy a lakefront property and, you know, have it built. She says, you definitely won't get as much house for your money, but, because she said with our budget at the time, we could, could have probably only built like a thousand square foot house, <laughs> oh, which is like half the house that we have now. So, um, I don't know. I don't regret what we ended up doing. I love our house. I think it's beautiful, but I, I would love, love, love to live on a lake one day. <laughs> now that I've been talking and rambling, it's not a video without me rambling about something. Um, I did find this candle and y'all, I purged so many candles. I donated them to a local thrift store. I've been donating, like decluttering here and there and donating to, it's this place I like to shop at, but they also donate, they, um, like, donate proceeds to a women and children's center which if you know like I'm really passionate about like women and children's health care and that's why I'm going to school to be a women's health nurse practitioner but uh I donated a ton of candles and I need to stop like buying them it was a huge eye-opener because I had way more candles than I thought I had and now my like closet where I keep my cleaning supplies looks so bare because I took all the candles out of there <laughs> um but I organized them in another cabinet and then I donated probably like a little over half of them because there was just so many. Um, I think it's because again, I used to feel like I needed a candle for every decorating video. Like I needed a new candle for every single, like, you know, my decorate with me's. I'm like, ah, I gotta go out and get a brand new candle because my subscribers can't see me reusing a candle. I don't know y'all. I don't know why I used to think that. I feel like I've gotten, you know, better about this YouTube thing, like not letting it make me want, feel like I need to like buy certain things or have brand new candles every <laughs> video. But um, this one I bought because of the smell, but also because of the color. I just thought it was so pretty. I have this candle in like a cream color. It's the same exact candle and I love the smell too, but this one is, I don't know how to say that, something Viano Lavender and it was $7.99 at HomeGoods. And it really, really does smell good. It's so pretty too. That's why I bought it. Mostly why I bought it because it was so pretty, but also it smells good. I am going to light this one whenever I decorate for spring and it's going to be my spring season candle that I light throughout the spring. So hopefully I can get it used up before I buy another one. I think the last thing I have for my new stuff is these coasters. And I, again, I found these at Home Goods. They were $6.99. And look how cute the scalloped edges are and the blue detail. I love these. These are definitely going to be a year-round item like that I use year-round. But also, I'm just including them in today's haul because they are new and I'm going to use them in my spring decorating. <laughs> okay, so this part of the video is going to be just all the things that I have from previous years that I kept. I did give uh, I probably a bin full of stuff to my grandma for her to decorate her home for spring and Easter. I gave her a lot of cute stuff, but it was just stuff that I kind of didn't plan on using ever again. And she was super excited about it. So it was totally worth it to me <laughs> to give it to her. But first I have these little moss bunnies. I think I got these at the Target dollar spot last year, but I have two of these and I think they're so cute and I can't wait to use them again this year. <laughs> Next thing I have is this rattan bunny. I do believe that I got this at Target as well. I don't remember how much it was. I think it was five dollars i think it was five dollars and i think it was in the target dollar spot but i could be wrong but it's super cute and i love it so here are my brass bunnies from last year i got these at tj maxx and they were 6.99 each still in love with these i think i'm gonna use these forever <laughs> i just love them i think they're so cute but again like i was saying that i wished those black bunnies were brass but i do have some brass bunnies so it's totally fine it actually is probably better just to have like some different colored bunnies but I think these are so cute i can't wait to just like pop a couple bunnies in my decor so I also have this from TJ Maxx last year and it's another brass bunny, but it also has a basket and this is so cute. Oh my gosh, you know how cute this would be with those tulips? It was $14.99. Let me grab those tulips and see how it look styled in this. You know what? Never mind. They're like piled under a bunch of stuff right next to me. So I will just have to wait <laughs> until I end up decorating to see what it looks like, but I know it's going to be cute. <laughs> So I have these little gold bunnies. These were from the Target dollar spot last year. And just an example of some of the stuff that I gave to my grandma, I had two sets of these. I don't know why I thought I needed two sets, but I had two sets of these. So I ended up giving her one set and then like just some other like really farmhouse decor that I didn't plan on using anymore. I gave to my grandma, but I still really love these gold bunnies. But like I did give her a set, but only because I have two sets, not because I don't love them anymore. So these were also from the Target Dollar Spot. I think I got these two or three years ago. 
I think it was three years ago because I think it was my first year living in this house that I got these. But again, I had two sets of these. So I gave her one set and I kept one set. So these were $3. This one has a piece of hair on it. And that does not look like my hair. It looks like Grayson and Kinsley's. It's like dark brown. <laughs> but anyways, these are super cute. Um, I just think these are like neutral and they like go perfect year after year. So I'll definitely be keeping this set. But again, I had two sets, so I gave her one. So I've also had this for a few years. I think I got this like my first year decorating in this house. And it is from Hobby Lobby. And it was $7.99. And I love the little bunny lid. And I actually bought some of those uh, little Cadbury eggs to go in this in my decorate with me video. And I have to go get another bag probably because I only have one bag and I think it would probably take two bags to fill it up. But the girls were just like, they were just like, what's that mommy? And they kept like asking about them. And I was like, eh, you know, it's for my decorating video. And then I felt guilty. So I ended up giving them a bag and then <laughs> I told them, okay, you can have this bag. And then they opened it and started eating them, but it's totally fine. There might actually be some left, but probably by like tomorrow afternoon, there won't be any left, but I'm going to go get another, another one for this. <laughs> So I also have this little vase with these flowers in it. And I got this last year at TG Maxx. I do believe it was like $14.99 if I'm not mistaken. I think this was kind of the color scheme I was going for last year. Like the pink and the orange. I don't know if I actually ended up doing it. But definitely the pinks is what I used to go more for. But I still love this and I think it's cute. I'm going to try to use it in my decorating this year. So I do have a couple of eggs. And these are from TJ Maxx. This one was $5.99. This one was $6.99 and this one's kind of like a little woven detail and this one just has some beautiful flowers on it. So I'm excited to use these again. So next I have this beautiful bunny. I got this at TJ Maxx last year for $12.99 and I did have another one that had like kind of like um like florals and like butterflies on it. It had a little butterfly on its nose. I ended up giving that one to my grandma because I had this one that was like super similar and I'm, I was trying to like you know, think about, am I going to use this this year? And that one to me, I just like wasn't loving it as much anymore, but I still really love this one. It reminds me, I have a pumpkin that's kind of, that kind of looks like this and I love it. I've had it for a couple years and I still, you know, plan on using it. Uh, but I really love this and I can't wait to use it. So I know I said that I gave her like all the farmhouse stuff and he definitely to me looks farmhouse. But I couldn't quite part with him yet. I'm like, he's got the like, green stuff on his ears from the, the, little, what are they called? Little, I don't know, green bunnies. <laughs> but I was thinking that maybe this year, I don't know, I'm scared actually, because I can't take his glasses out. I was going to rub and buff his glasses gold, but I wasn't ready to part with him yet. I got him, I think my first year decorating in this house and I still love him. So I don't know, I'll, pro I'll probably try to find a place for him this year. <laughs> so this is something that I sort of sort of DIY, not really DIY, but it was a Goodwill frame for that. It says $1.99, but I guarantee you I did not pay $1.99 for this. I probably paid a dollar for it. It was probably a green sticker day because <laughs> I don't see myself paying $1.99 for this frame. Maybe, I don't know, but um, the little, like, it's not really a print, but the picture inside was a clearance find at Hobby Lobby. It's like a, it was like a cloth like stuck to a frame and I peeled the cloth part off which is what the it's not really a print it's kind of like a textured material kind of cloth but it has like little I don't know are these cosmos they look like little cosmos to me but I thought it was cute so I was gonna keep this and try to use it again this year so I do have some pink coasters which are so cute um but I did end up I ended up keeping these because I thought they'd be really cute for spring and when I went through my bin I still full on was like I'm decorating with pink I'm going all pink this year and then I bought a lot of blue so well they still match like I'm holding them only thing I have that's pink are these coasters and my pink tulips. Like everything else is blue. <laughs> but they're still really cute. The last thing I have down in here is this marble bunny. I got this at Ross. Um, oh, I didn't say. I got those coasters at TJ Maxx last year. <laughs> I don't remember how much they were. I think they were like $5.99. But this was $6.99 at Ross last year and this is my last piece of decor so I really hope you guys have enjoyed today's haul I know I probably start out the video like I start out filming like kind of nervous and then by the end of the video I'm just like just I don't know just like comfortable filming and talking to the camera a lot more than I was at the beginning of the video I don't know why I do that but you would think after three years it's been three years now since I started YouTube that I would be more comfortable but 
Uh, sometimes I still get nervous. Um, but anyways, I hope you guys have enjoyed this haul. I'll be decorating probably within the next few days. I'm actually, I'm filming this tonight and I'm probably going to try to put it up in the morning because hauls are pretty easy to edit. So I should be able to get this up in the morning. And then within the next few days, I'll decorate and do my like part one. It's going to be spring and Easter together. Um, since again, Easter is at you know, in March. So I'm going to do spring and Easter part one. It'll probably be the kitchen and the dining room. And then part two will be the living room entryway and then whatever else decide to decorate. But yeah, I hope you guys have enjoyed. Don't forget to like and comment and subscribe. And yeah, just let me know what you think in the comments. I really hope you enjoyed. Thanks so much for watching.